Straight to the point? Yes, it's very worth it. But if you want to know more, stick around. This right here is the GPD XD, but I have a feeling you already knew that. I used to make a lot of videos, and I mean a lot of videos about this device because it is, to this day, probably the best emulation machine one can buy. And let me answer something right out of the bat. Yes, uh, I am aware of the GPD XD Plus. I have one right here, but they are functionally about the same. The GPD XD Plus has a slightly better processor and it runs a more current version of Android, but I stick with my GPD XD for two reasons. One, because I don't have the patience to go reinstall all of my games and all of the icons that I have for the emulators and then transfer all the save files. That's just way too much work, so I don't want to do that. And two, which is a bigger issue, the stock OS that this thing comes with has a fatal flaw in my opinion. When you close the lid and the system goes to sleep, if you accidentally press the shoulder buttons, the screen will come back on which makes it so you can't really put this thing in your pocket because certainly the buttons are going to be accidentally pressed. The screen is going to come on in your pocket and it's going to drain your battery without you even knowing. I had no idea that this was a problem when I first got this because I played it mostly at home. I wasn't putting it into pockets. The first time I put it into my pocket, I realized the problem and there is a solution. You can install a custom uh, firmware on this thing which fix that issue. But again, if I have a functioning GPD XD, which which is pretty much the same thing. I just don't feel like I just don't feel like putting in the work is all. Okay, so for those who don't know what the GPD XD, allow me to explain. Like I said, this, though it looks like a Nintendo 3DS XL, is an Android tablet, actually. So you can close it up like this, the screen will go to sleep. You see the little LED indicating that the system's still on. You got four shoulder buttons here, a uh, headphone jack, a mini HDMI out, so you can plug this into your uh, TV. You have a micro USB port to charge here and a card slot to expand the memory. This version I have right here is a 64 gig, but you can toss in a bigger card there and virtually have all the games you could ever possibly want. Cause that's a lot of space. The GPD XD has two analog sticks, which are actual analog sticks as opposed to PSP style thumbsticks. Let me, I'll, I'll demonstrate. With the PSP or the PSP Go, you don't have a true analog and by that I don't mean to say that they operate like d-pads no they are analog but they don't actuate as such let's see mine is a little dusty because I haven't played with it in a while and it's a little bit dirty because it has this weird texture where dust will get stuck in there so I'm not a dirty person is what I'm trying to say here okay so as you can see it slides to the sides not unlike actually is it here well, my 3DS isn't here, but it's the same idea. The circle pad is also not a what I would call a true analog because you kind of have to slide it around. See, see what I'm trying to say here? This is not, it, it works, but it's not perfect. This here, on the other hand, operates like an actual analog, see? What makes the GPD XD incredible, in my opinion, is the fact that it's running Android. So that means there are so many emulators you can run on this thing. And it's not just emulators and retro games. You can also run native Android games on this thing. And the majority of them do take advantage of the built-in controls. A game like Stardew Valley, for instance, which I have on my phone, I have it on my Switch, so being able to play it portably isn't exactly something new to me, but on this form factor, a device where I can just close and throw in my pocket and I don't have to worry about draining the battery on my phone if I'm playing on my phone because yes Stardew Valley on my phone is technically the most portable way to play the game but I also don't want to kill the battery on my phone so there's that unlike the Vita the screen will be protected when I close it so that's a form factor I find way preferable than anything else the clamshell design is just better suited for portable gaming in my opinion one thing I don't see being talked a lot about this device is its ability to stream PC games from your gaming computer. There's a bunch of different apps that'll do that, but they all work the same way. They leverage your Steam library and then they beam the game 
wirelessly to your device. So for instance, I can play something like Dead Cells and if you look behind me, it's actually running on my gaming computer here just behind me. Since I have a pretty decent Wi-Fi signal in my house, I can take this to my bedroom or I can play in the living room. I can do, I can take this wherever I want. The app I'm using for this right now is tied to my local Wi-Fi connection. So I can only do this at home. But there are other apps out there that allow you to leverage this over a cellular connection. Like say, if you were to pair this to your cell phone and then you could basically play whatever game you have installed in your computer anywhere in the world. And to someone who loves portability like me, this is an incredible idea that in one device that I can put in my pocket, I can play all these emulators, I can play my PC games, I can play Android games, it's pretty crazy. And it's not just games too, the fact that this thing, and let me exit out of this app here, the fact that this thing basically has a built-in stand means I can use this to say watch Netflix on my breaks at work. I can play DOS games on this thing, portable DOS games, and in fact I have a whole video on exactly that, how to set up Android to play portable DOS games. You can click the card wherever it shows up. I haven't done cars in a while, so I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to point. This thing has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, so it'll keep going. I love that you can connect this to a monitor or your TV and play these games on the big screen. If you have Chromecast, you can actually stream the screen wirelessly to your TV and play on the big screen without any wires whatsoever, though, Obviously, there's going to be some latency. Action games are not going to work that well, but I played a lot of Pokemon and Advance Wars like that, just lying in bed, holding this thing, and streaming the image to my Chromecast-enabled TV. The big screen also allows you to play DS games pretty comfortably, even though there's no screen down here. You can split both DS screens here on the top, so I have the map on one side and the actual game running on this side, and I'll give you that, it's not ideal that the screens are side by side, and it bugs me a little bit that they're not symmetrical, though I could make them symmetrical. I would waste a little bit of screen real estate because for that, I'd have to make this screen a little bit smaller, this one a little bit bigger, they'd be more centered, and I don't see a point to that. I'd rather have the action real big, and then the map just on the, on the side there. It's okay that it's a little bit smaller. Man, this game was good. The GPD XD is good up to Dreamcast emulation. And do keep in mind, not every Dreamcast game is going to run flawlessly. Or every PSP game for that matter. PSP and Dreamcast emulation are basically the upper limits of what the GPD XD can do. The games I tried were okay, but obviously performance varies from game to game. One thing worth noting about the original GPD XD as opposed to the GPD XD Plus is that it doesn't have Bluetooth, which I have no idea why not. Bluetooth support would allow you to ditch wired headphones when playing games on this thing. And most importantly, remember how I mentioned you can plug this to your TV? Yeah, you could plug in Bluetooth controllers to it. So this thing could be an all-in-one kind of like party system where you, you can play your games on your own, but if you have a bunch of friends and you have a mini HDMI cable and you have a bunch of Bluetooth controllers, you can hook that sucker up to your TV, pass the controllers along, and your buddies could be playing GoldenEye like it's 1999. Again, you can do that with the GPD XD Plus. This one has Bluetooth. This one doesn't. I don't know what they're thinking. It can't be that expensive to add a Bluetooth radio to a device. Bottom line is this, I've tried a lot of portable emulation machines, and for your money, it doesn't get much better than the GPD XD. I'd say yes, go for the GPD XD Plus where you can find it, but be aware that the stock OS is going to give you problems when you close the lid, put the system to sleep, and then accidentally press the shoulder buttons. The screen is going to come back on. I don't think they have fixed that in the stock OS, and again, that can be fixed. The GPD XD subreddit is a very active community and we have people there who are super, super willing to help you fix that. There's also a Discord server where you're going to find a lot of the same enthusiasts who will help you out if you have any issues with your unit. I'm going to link both in the description. And of course, I have to give a massive shout out to subreddit user S8 Psyops. This guy is the guardian angel of the GPD community. I have never seen somebody this helpful. He will, if you have issues, if you have a problem, a question, and you start a, a thread on the subreddit or if you you ask around on the Discord server, chances are he's going to be the one answering you and his answer is going to be right. So listen to that guy. He knows a lot and he's very, very helpful. I'm a big fan of this device. Obviously, as you can see on the screen here, I can emulate pretty much all the games that made my childhood. So this thing is by far, like I'll go back and forth. I love the PSP Go because of the form factor. I also love the BitBoy because of the same reason, the form factor, that classic Game Boy look and feel is priceless to me. But it doesn't get any better than the GPD XD or the GPD XD Plus.
if you take into account the disclaimers I just gave. As always, I'm going to leave a link in the description of where you can pick up your own GPDXD or XD+. I didn't want to make any more GPDXD videos for a while because I felt like I've talked about the device for so long, but the community always asks me to talk about this more because they want to see more people join their ranks. So there you go, another GPDXD video. And I'll let you in on a little secret. I have another one coming up. If you're new to the channel, consider liking and subscribing. That helps me out so much. Follow me on social media. I'm very active on both Twitter and Instagram. And that's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done.